need your prayer this morning. I'm sure I'm thankful to get to be out this morning. Glad to see you, brother. Come on. Hope that maybe for a minute that I would get out of the way and let the Lord come in. And yeah. So many things have gone through my mind this morning. Lord, do bless me. Seems like uh, you know, Brother Chad was speaking and it reminded me uh, one of my one of mine and Erica's good friends. One time, she she goes to a little church over here in Virginia. And we were sitting at a ball game one time, and she come in and she began to sit with us. And she said, "You know, I went to church last Sunday," and she said that. She said, I woke up late, I was mad, and I was angry. She said, everything was going wrong. She said, but I help out at the little Bible study or the for the kids in the morning. She said, and I knew I had to go there. She said, and I thought to myself, I'll go there and I'll take care of it that morning and I'm getting out of there just as quick as I can and I'm going back home. She said, I went there and we did that and she said, I went to go and leave, and the, she said, our pastor stopped me. And he just come over to me, and he said, sis, I'd like to tell you something. And she said, I went over to him, and he just stopped me, and he said, sis, today, when you come, I want you to take that cup of yours, and I want you to turn it up, right? Yeah. She said, and I thought to myself, I can't go anywhere now. And, you know, sometimes... Do you understand that you get out of this what you put into it? That's right. Do you understand that where your heart is? Brother Chad spoke to you about religion and salvation. Brother, what I feel like is one of the biggest part in it is where is your heart at this morning? Yeah, Brother, I don't know what the case will be with me, brother, but I know that I have a God, brother, who is worthy this morning of everything. I started off with a great fear, brother, inside of me, brother, and it was a fear of dying and going to hell. Right. Brother, and it began to have me change my whole ways, but you know, I still have a fear this morning. Brother, I still have a God that I love so much, brother Brandon, that I'm always thinking, Lord, don't let me let you down. Right. Lord, don't let me and my living right, brother, me and my sister will often joke and We'll say it's our Christianity guilt that makes us do this and do that, brother. But I want you to know what it truly is. It is still a fear of God. Brother, it ain't that fear of worrying about going to hell, but it is a fear of God. Am I doing everything that I can for you? Brother, do you know what the scripture says that the devil, he walketh about like a roaring lion, a seeking whom he may devour. Brother, do you? Yeah. Brother, and they took to them wives and brother, 
Guess what? Those two sons died. Yeah. Yeah. Naomi sitting with two daughter-in-laws, probably getting worried the world That's beating right. them up, That's brother. Right. Thinking, now thinking, what? is this really what all? Uh, is this what this life here has to offer, brother? And brother, and guess what? She went to her daughters and she told them. She said, "I have no more sons. I have nothing. I'm going back over to this land." Yeah. Brother, and you just go on and you go back to your family. Yeah, go on. Brother, and they both tried to plead with her. No, no. And brother, and she told them again. And do you know one left but Ruth? Brother, and looked at Naomi, brother, and I begin to think about it sometimes. Uh, brother, and life ain't always what we uh, maybe had in our minds, brother, and it beats us up a little bit. Uh, brother, and it wears us, but do you also understand? Uh, brother, and not the devil, he wants you that way. Uh, he wants you tore up, uh, and he wants you beat down. Uh, brother, but guess what? Uh, I think about the two words uh, of this mother saying, uh, Uh, 
and you can try to deny it and you can try uh, uh, to fight it all you want instead of maybe question every reason why maybe you can't serve God. Uh, why don't you just try to serve Him? Uh, um, brother, do you know that the Bible says taste of the Spirit uh, yes, and see it and it's good? Right. Brother, I've got news. My heart got in condition. Uh, one time there was a difference. Uh, brother, when I used to pray uh, and say, Lord, save me. Lord, help me, uh, my brother, and uh, uh, there was a difference when I said, Lord, show me, uh, Lord, lead me, uh, uh, Lord, help me to find you, uh, my brother, and guess what, uh, when you start getting your heart right, uh, when you start wanting him more, uh, uh, then, then you want the things of this world. That's right, getting in good shape. I believe you're getting in condition. Amen, Amen. Amen brother. Amen. That's right. Jesus He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yep. He's the best thing that's ever happened in this world. What I want you to understand, sometimes life doesn't always turn out the way we want it or the way we thought it. But do you know that if you would grab a hold of God, yeah. what blessings there are? Yeah. Brother, I'm sure that my sister, she cried a million nights. But every time I look back at a little boy back here, yeah. brother, my heart just turns over. Maybe yeah. it ain't how we planned it. Right. Maybe it ain't how you envisioned it. That's right. But you understand just serving God. Just hold on. I know that there's hard times. Yeah. And I know that it's not always easy. But guess what? I do believe in the God. That's right. That's right. That's and right. I understand that maybe it ain't the picture that you had. But you understand that if you would attach yourself to God, His picture's prettier than your picture. That's right. 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 That's
We better take them everywhere we go and we better show them. Do you want to come and speak a few words, brother? We've got time. I'm begging men and women not to join a church here or I'm begging you to let go of the things of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Follow your heart. Let go. Follow your heart. Those small things have enough trust in the Lord, brother. And do you know what it is? Do you know what keeps you right this morning? It's your heart right here. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, I can come in as fancy as I can. Just what two hundred dollars and go down to the JC Penny. It doesn't mean nothing. Brother. It's what's in your heart this morning. Yeah. You're worried about staying right? I don't want to let the Lord down. Guess what? I'm still right there with you. I got up this morning saying, Lord, don't let me let you down. Yeah. Brother, do you know that's a good working heart right there? Yeah. That's what God can work with. Yeah. It's the one that's not worried about letting the Lord down. That's the one that get themselves in trouble sometimes. Yeah. Right. If you're worried about God, guess what? You're just as good as you can be this morning. Brother, what I'm telling you, let go and let God in your life. Brother, give it all to him, brother. Guess what? There is power in that right there. Brother, not holding back and letting God use us this morning. You brothers, go ahead and get you a song. And as I sing, I want to tell you, I want to tell you that the church doors, they are open. And there's no better time, brother. Guess what? It's not about the Lord. It's not about this church. But it is about your condition this morning.
10 years he's been serving the Lord. That's what he told me. And I've seen him everywhere. He goes everywhere in church. He wants to make this church his own. The church. I said so. Amen. 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 Take Brother Shannon in by recommendation. If there's an objection to that, you have a right to speak. And I'll find you. Somebody get a song. We'll give you the right hand to play the show. Somebody sing us a song. And while the brothers sing, we'll give him the right hand to play the I want to say the church doors are still open, and if there's anybody else that wants to come home last Sunday, we call for the hours and we will stay for that. That's for sure. You know, this is this is what it's all about. Trying to to just serve God the best that we can. Everybody come around.